Uh, and why don't we talk to the captain of the team that we're talking about right now, Chase Waters, joining us now from the Abbotsford Center, perhaps? Nope, from the car. Chase, how you doing? <laughs> I'm good. How are you guys doing? Doing great, man. Uh, excited to get you on here. Let's just get your thoughts right off the bat. You guys are coming home, three home games. What's the excitement level from this group heading into what you guys have over the next week here? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's really exciting. We, uh, you know, we obviously like playing at home like every other team. And it's, uh, you know, the crowds have been amazing here in Abbotsford. And, and uh, yeah, it's fun. It's fun playing at home. It's fun playing in front of, you know, friends and family. I think that's, uh, you know, it's a pretty special time of the year too. So it's, uh, it'll be good. We're all looking forward to it. Chase, the conversation that we were just having was that you guys are kind of like right there in these games. You guys are down. You're facing elimination coming back home. Are you guys able to stay positive to a level given how these games have actually gone um, and staying close in these games? Yeah, absolutely. I know obviously it's one shot either way and, you know, they got the best of us there the first two, but I think we, you know, there's a still a, a strong belief in our, in our dressing room. I think that's something that we, uh, you know, we've, we've beat these guys before and we know, you know, we know we, we can do it. We just got to put our best, best foot forward. And I think that's, that's important that we, you know, we really take care of the little details of the game. And that's what's, that's what's going to, this year's is going to be, uh, you know, brought, brought by. So it's, uh, yeah, it's exciting. It's fun. It's, you know, we're, all, every game has been competitive so far and we're looking forward to the next one. Does it feel like uh, the hockey gods kind of owe you guys a couple of bounces after what we've seen in the first couple of games here with, you know, heck, the penalties that were called, the own goal early on <laughs> in game one. I feel like you guys are owed a couple of bounces here in the, in the following games. Yeah, I think sometimes that's, you know, that's hockey. Sometimes it goes your way, sometimes it doesn't go your way. And, you know, they're obviously a really good team over there and they, they play hard, they play fast. And, yeah, obviously I'd like to, you know, have that one back, that own goal. I didn't, <laughs> obviously is it just a tough bounce off my stick there. But, I mean, it's, you know, that's part of the game. And uh, that, that stuff happens sometimes. It's how, it's how you respond and how, how our team is able to respond from that stuff. Chase, it's been an up and down for the referees throughout this one. We've seen 20 penalties called one game. Heck, some penalties called in the first game as well. How important is, going to, is special teams going to be here in game three? Yeah, very important. If you look at the, you know, look at the series, uh, that's that's a lot. A lot of the goals have been scored in the power play or even shorthanded. Like last game, we had a couple there, and they had a couple power play goals. It's, uh, you know, that, that's a big part of this time of the year is really dialing in those areas of our of our game and being able to, you know, use them for momentum. And it's, uh, you know, being able to play at home too, use that for momentum. It's going to be good. Chase, how was your first season as captain? When you kind of look back, obviously it's not over, but you kind of reflect on the season that it's been so far. How's it been for you being the captain of this team? Yeah, it's been fun. I think it's been uh, obviously a big learning curve for myself. There's a, there's a lot of, a lot of veteran guys in that room that have obviously helped, helped and been a, been a big part of our team. And we're all, you know, we all we all push the boat the same way, and I think that's something important that we, you know, we kind of take into it every day is that everyone's a big part of our team, no matter, no matter who you are, no matter how old you are, we're all we're all in this together. I think that's something. I was talking to your coach yesterday. One of the things he said was just, you know, you guys need to kind of just like continue to push. It feels like you guys are right there in all of those games. A couple of bounces are going to come your way. How do you guys kind of feed off of what the crowd can bring to a game in tomorrow's game? Yeah, it's a huge momentum. I mean, they're they're going to be loud. They're going to be supporting us. I think that's big. And uh, you know, obviously, it, it's us on the ice. But they, you know, they've been great all year, and it's uh, it'll be pretty pretty fun and pretty special to have them there. The uh, yeah, the crowd's been awesome. But it's it's a momentum, and I think like like you said, there we're we've been right there in every game. I think it's important to you know really dial in on the little things. That's what's it's going to come down to here. You guys had some some players who had great regular seasons. Uh, Linus Carlson, Niels Huglander, Danila Klimovich. These three names we haven't seen score yet in the second round of the playoffs. How much do you guys believe in the kind of your top scoring players being able to step up here and, you know, make this series interesting? You guys are down 2 nothing. The big players haven't done much uh, from the top end of the lineup early on in this series. How confident are you in those guys coming through here in games 3, 4, and hopefully 5 as well? <clears throat> yeah, we – obviously believe in those guys more than anything. I mean, they did, they did it all year and they're, you know, they're, they've been playing good. It's just sometimes, sometimes the puck doesn't go in the net and that's, you know, that's part of hockey as well, but they're, you know, they're pushing, pushing forward. And I think everyone in the room is too. Everyone's like to contribute when they can offensively and uh, yeah, just, just move forward from that. Chase, we've got a question from a listener here. Uh, what did you think yeah. of uh, Ar Arshbane's clutch two goal penalty kill? <laughs> 
Yeah, that was crazy. I don't know if I've ever seen that done before, but he, uh, you know, had a couple of good chances there, and he's gonna, you know, he's gonna score if he gets a chance. And he's, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a great player. He's, he's, I mean, you guys obviously watch him a lot, and he's, uh, you know, he's really fun to be around, be around the rink, and he's a great guy. So it's uh, pretty, yeah, pretty, pretty good on his end to be able to do that. Chase, we've seen. Uh, I mentioned the top end guys here, but we did see the the guys in the kind of the bottom half of the lineup here just really have some good games. Especially game two, I thought that uh, Gatcomb was a great example. He had an excellent game there in game two. What do you think about the way you guys are kind of winning the battle of the depth in this series so far? Yeah, they obviously have a have a really good have, have a really deep forward group, and you know, I think I think we do as well, and I think that's something that you know, if we can go out there and wear wear teams down and wear where their guys down, I think that's something that, you know, is going to open up space for, for ourselves and for also for, for the, you know, the top six guys that, that, uh, you know, make, make plays out there and it's, it'll be fun. It's, uh, you know, it'll be fun. I think Gats is, is a great example. He's been playing really well and I think that goes for, for a lot of guys out there. So. And you guys are the younger team. Obviously there's a lot more experience <laughs> over there. How can you guys maybe use that to an advantage as this series goes on, just having, you know, younger legs or whatever you want to call it that you guys have over there? Yeah, I think it's, you know, it, it's going to come from inside. They, you know, we've both had, have both had the same amount of days off. We both play the same games come in and it's, uh, you know, it's just going to come down to who wants it more. And I think that's, that's what's important this time of the year. And, you know, we're going to put our best, best effort out there. Chase, I'm always curious to get uh, players thoughts on this. It's completely unrelated to Abbotsford, but I am curious to get yeah. your thoughts on it. Right now, everybody's talking about this hit, Truba on Meyer. I don't know if you got a chance to see it. What do you think of hits like this where, you know, they're clean technically, but, you know, the rule book says they're clean. Others say they're dirty. What's your take on it? Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, it's different in the – I know, you know, something stood out to me with that hit was after the fact, and they they talked in the handshake line. I think that's part of it. They're both competitors. They're not – I don't think Truba's out there trying to hurt them, but it's, you know, they're, they're competitors. That's what, you know, sometimes that's what you have to do against your opponents. And I think, you know, we obviously got them there in the middle of this head down and that, you know, that happens, that happens to everyone. So. Yeah. Tough one. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, it was hard to say it was dirty, right? Like it, it was just a head down type of situation. I um, will close out here with one more question about the outs for team. It's been back and forth with for the sure. goalies throughout the playoffs <laughs> here, but I don't think that's, a problem, I feel like, for you guys. Like, you guys are both confident with both goaltenders in this spot right now that you're going with. And it feels like this Abbotsford team, when you guys are going on your best hockey, when you guys get these hot stretches of play, a lot of it starts from what's going on in the crease. How important is that going to be for one of your goaltenders, whether it be Arthur Silovs or Spencer Martin, to be one of the most important players in this game on Wednesday? Yeah, I think they've been great for us all year, and they've been great in the playoffs, too. It's... uh you know, whoever's back there, we're conf we're confident with. And I think that's big going forward. You know, we you know we can trust both guys, and you know they both been playing really good hockey. So it's uh, yeah, it's fun to watch them do their thing out there. They've been they've been amazing for us all year, and I I mean that's not going to change moving forward. So yeah, final question here. We'll let you go on this one, Chase. Jet told us last week it was Tristan Nielsen who brought into the locker room one step at a time as your guys' winning song. Can you confirm or deny that? We have to ask the captain of the team. Was Tristan Nielsen? The guy who brought a little bit of that to the locker room. I don't know if it was neither. It might. It might have been. Uh, it might have been Rathbone too. It might have been one of the two. I know they kind of rotate back and forth on the music. So uh, I don't know if it was Tristan or if it was Jack. I'm trying to think now. I, I'd like to say it was Jack, but I could be wrong on that. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I got to follow up with this then. Better DJ in your <laughs> eyes, and I'm sure this, this clip will definitely not go on social media or anything. But better DJ Rathbone. <laughs> Nielsen. Um, it kind of depends on the day. I know Jack takes it for now for before games. He's kind of got the the throwback hits. That's kind of where one step at a time came from. Where Nielsen is more of like uh, you know, a little bit more rap and some little EDM music. But uh, I, I they both bring, they're both good at it. I I I personally like Jack's a little bit more probably, but that's just me. Absolutely. We'll definitely not clip this and send it to him. Uh, Chase, appreciate it. And hey, one, one step at a time for the final way is you guys run through this series. Three more wins. You guys are going to have to perform the reverse sweep. Abbotsford Center is going to be rocking. We know we're going to be out there enjoying it. All the best to you tomorrow uh, and good luck against that Wranglers team. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we appreciate the support from you guys. So thanks again. Absolutely. There he is. Chase Waters joining us there from Abbotsford.
captain of the team. Man, tomorrow's going to be fun.